Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the final season of 13 Reasons Why. I know, it's been four years of this show. Hate to see it end, but at some point everything has to come to an end. So, uh, I hope you guys have been following along with the, with the series and have watched it. If not, you should stop right now. Pause the video and then go watch the first three seasons, even the fourth season, I would say, and then come back and watch it with us. And then don't forget, guys, if you like our series and like our videos, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like us as well. And then also hit up those notifications. And then don't forget to comment below with your thoughts whether you disagree with something we said or if you like what we said, anything. Engage with this. Alright, on to 13 Reasons Why Season 4. So, we know we went through the whole Hannah Baker killing herself over rape, depression, things like that. And then we went into Season 2 of the final wrap-up of the whole Hannah Baker era and started going into the Bryce Walker rapist era of the series. And then season three wrapped with Bryce's death. And now we're back at season four where Monty has been the person that's took the responsibility, well, been pointed the finger of the responsibility of Bryce's death and Monty then died which, Monty was a very complex character anyway, which is kind of crazy, but you never know what somebody's going through. Mm -hmm. So, fast forward to season four. Everybody's still recovering from all of that. Justin is trying to be a recovered addict, which was a wild time for him. Mm -hmm. He was returning from rehab, like yeah. a 30 day rehab. That man went through a lot. Yeah, he definitely went through a lot. His so, character alone had so a crazy moment. I think what we can do or what we should do is just basically just do like uh, go through each character and it's basically like a quick recap of what they went through this episode. I mean this season. So obviously we can start with Clay. Um, <laughs> he went through a lot mentally this uh, season. Um because of so, uh, because he felt responsible for all his friends, and he was keeping a lot in, keeping secrets. So he pretty much became schizophrenic. Like he was someone else. Even though they didn't diagnose him as that, they said yeah, depression and anxiety. I'm like, no, he. Was, when do you have multiple personalities from anxiety? Yeah. That so. I'm like, mm, that's the one part of the show I did not like. He definitely was schizophrenic. I mean, because you would like if you, he was literally becoming another person. Not like another person, but like he no, he was becoming a whole. Oh, no, other yeah, person he was. He was like, yeah, you could say that he, he was coming to another person, he doing did not things, remember and then not remember. Did. I mean, that's textbook. Uh, the one clue that it gave to you, right? When he woke up, remember Justin walked into the room. It was late, and yeah. he woke up and said something. And Justin was like, what? I mean, you had a card of minute clues, the spray paint. That logo, that's that, that insignia. Because he, he the one who came up with it. Yeah. And he was seeing it. He was like, oh, why is this showing up or whatever? Mm -hmm. but, can of spray paint in his bag. Uh, and going to places. Was something in his room too, right? Yeah. And then going to places late at night, not remembering yeah. how he got there. The runs early in the morning. I'm like going through a lot and then I guess we can then take it into Justin then since that is his now so-called brother roommate who poor Justin had a hard rough life then his mom winds up dying during this season what mm -hmm. possibly of a drug overdose no no not possible it was it was OD oh she OD for sure yeah. they said it they said okay. it okay and she then OD for sure. that led to him relapsing from his recovery yep. which then thrust him into even more problems because turns out he had tested positive for HIV well they said that man had AIDS 
HIV AIDS is the, to me, that's for it, it's, 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 they, they go hand in hand, but when your blood count I know it gets goes, too it's low. Step, step stage. Yeah. When your blood one, blood uh, AIDS, levels get that. too low, that's when you have full blown AIDS. And his whatever yeah. happened to him with his well, AIDS. They said he was out on the streets tricking. Yeah. When he was living out on the streets. To fuel his addiction, which is wild. Yeah. Which I know is this show's got real graphic with the yeah. imagery and issues that happen. But it's real life, so I, I like that aspect of it. Yeah, and unfortunately he succumbed to at the end. And it, the worst part of it all, before right before graduation too. Yeah. He did all this to improve his life, get into college, right before graduation, that comes out and it happens. Dorm prom, even though he was not going to go to prom, mm -hmm. managed to go and then collapses on the dance. Yep. It's crazy. And At least he, he reconciled everything with yeah, Jessica. But he though. went like from the prom to the day that he actually passed away, like he uh, deteriorated quickly. I mean that does happen though. All his organs mean, started shutting down. Yeah, Once I mean you have no when I say function. quickly, he was like losing weight, pale, mm -hmm. pale, very pale, and like I said, it happened very quickly, and it was like unexpected. As because again, I've never seen a personal like personally seen somebody that had AIDS and then like how they transform or how fast they transform. I guess because I it was a show. But I'm saying, so I'm guessing because it was a show, maybe they sped up the process. Or if, it, course, if, they, or if it's they, just that I fast. I think the fact of because it was dark, lying in him for so long and he was not showing symptoms for the longest. Mm -hmm. it, had he gotten tested earlier, he would have probably been okay because he could have got the treatment that he needed and it would have been able to manage everything but because he was going for so long without any treatment any mm -hmm. diagnosis no knowledge of it it just happened and i kind of think he knew from a step a long time ago that he probably did have it and just was so afraid to get tested because remember when they had to do the uh stuff for the football teams they the doctor was saying that they couldn't get tested for that but he has to consent to getting that kind of test and he never chose to give consent for it so yeah. Like I don't know, maybe he was afraid that he does have it, and just didn't want to go through that. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But it was a sad way for his character to end. Yeah, after so much that has happened with this character. Yeah, he redeemed. He definitely did redeem himself at the end, um, which was good. Um, let's do Jessica. We can do Jessica next. Um, <laughs> I, I, this season, like, so I understand she's definitely a strong character. Oh, yeah. um, but this season, I was confused by her actions because she said like she doesn't want to be alone, but then she was dating the guy Diego, and then like Bex like sliding on Diego and messing around with Justin. It was just like kind of weird. Well, see, her character's dynamic was basically all right for this season. She did still love Justin, but Justin broke it off with her because of his rehab part of his steps because yes. technically a relationship when you're recovering is an another addiction you're going to be addicted to that person yeah. you're not going to really go into your recovery properly so he had to break it off with her so she originally wanted to get back at him so that's why she started going with Diego but then it turned into her trying to spy on Diego but then she still in a way at some point fell in love with Diego if you ask me she probably, I think she did. I, I, I feel like Especially she Especially the way they ended it. I think she fell in love with Diego. Yeah. But that, that seems... Uh, she was back and forth with a few things with the issues, in my opinion. Okay, you want change and you want these things to happen with school school to be safer. But she kept saying she didn't know that, he, that the principal was going to take things to that extreme. I'm like, what did you expect was going to happen? There is so only so much change that can happen at the school. Um, granted, yeah, they could have took a few different routes mm -hmm. than they took because we're going to get to those parts in a little bit. But yeah, I still think she kind of was top flip flopping and top two top for Terry for me. Yeah, for this season, but she played the character well. Yeah, she did well. Um, and then that that whole conversation with Justin at the end was a little tearjerker. You know, it was. It was it was deep. It was sad. It was very sad. 
So the next character we can talk about was Zach. Yo, he <laughs> felt way off. I mean, he was. Should we not talk about Bryce now? Because that's how, that's what he turned into. Not necessarily. He didn't necessarily turn not full blown Bryce, yeah. but he was Bryce basically. Yeah, because season. like he went from his grades being straight A. You know, captain of the football team. And oh, he was Mr. Perfect before. Yeah, he was a... And he just, like, went way down. He did a complete... In four years, you can say he had the most character development as far as from what he started at to where he ended at. And it was just like, wow. Like, he was drinking, not going to class. Uh, um, he was getting high, everything. Yeah, high. Um... And then bringing prostitutes to the, to the prom. prom, and then almost raped her. That had so Clay and him not walked in. That was attacked. It wasn't was Clay. Clay. No, I don't think it was Clay. I think no, it, no, it no. Was, I'm sorry, not Clay, but it, it was, was Alex. Zach, Alex and Zach. Yeah, it was. They they walked in because they were trying to use the bathroom or whatever, yeah. and it was lo- it was locked essentially. Yeah, well, not locked, so, but it was yeah, barricaded. Alex and damn it, what is his name? Fucking, I was bored. The guy, I don't know. Is his name Zach or something? No, no not no, Zach. Zach was in there with him. Alex, Zach, prostitute, and um, shit. I'm I forget just, his name. But he, he was he was relatively new character. Yeah. In season three, I believe. Yeah, the uh, preppy boy. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, that was wild. That was that was wild. He it would have been rape had he not walked, stepped in, and he would have gone full blown Bryce. Yeah. So that part was wild and crazy. Um, but at the end, like I said, it just seemed like a lot of redemption for a lot of people, um, in this season. Because he ended up redeeming himself, going, he, he actually did end up graduating. Yeah, um, and staying there to do fo- be Found out why he didn't like hospitals. Time. Well, yeah, I, I've been kind of figured that, because that was where his dad, well, not hospitals, but particularly that, that hospital, yeah. definitely, because his dad wound up dying. Honestly, that's where his rocky moments began when his dad died. Even though that that happened before the show started, once his dad died, he always was teetering there. Yeah. Too much pressure from his mom to be perfect, and then everything that's happened on the show from stuff with Bryce. Yeah, him thinking that he killed Hannah, Bryce. Uh huh. Thinking he was one of the parts of the people that killed Hannah. Because I mean, in a way, he kind of was. He kind of was a little too much, uh, wanting to be impressing everybody at the same time, caring for. Her. Yeah, that so was crazy. But he, he ended up graduating. Um, not only did he end up graduating, he ended up. Uh, he went to a school, right? No, he went back to the school to be football. Because where I heard coach. something say that he went, he was going to some type of school, not just a football coach, but something else. I could be wrong. I mean, but. I think he was going for community. Community college or something like that, but he eventually did like redeem himself essentially. I mean, so, he did get for himself at the end, got himself together, even though he was going wild on the uh, right, which we're we'll, we going to get to the right in itself on its own, but yeah. All right, so the next one. You... All right, let's see who can we go to next. Alex. I was going to say, I guess so. Yeah, we can hit Alex uh, next because yeah. Alex was a little bit wild, if you ask me. This season, once again, Alex was so temperamental, wanting to kill himself still in a way, thinking he doesn't deserve this, doesn't deserve that. We all know he's gone through with the most biggest trauma of them all, killing Bryce, even though, given Bryce's character, I mean, death is death, so you don't want to kill anyone, but it's (laughs) Bryce here on the show. But yeah, so he was traumatized with all that, wanting to kill himself, wanting to tell the truth and everything. But he went from season one being the uh, weird guy, I would say, with the weird he's still hair. Weird. I mean, he's he's he he's in his own way weird. But he went from the extremely weird guy, then to date Jessica, being friends with Hannah, and them, then to not being friends with them. Trying to be popular, fit in with the cool kids, then going to kill himself, literally, which was botched. I don't know how he botched that one, but okay, good thing he did. Then going to trying to rehabilitate himself and walk again, to being mad and angry about everybody, then killing Bryce for everything, and now he's gay. 
comes out as gay in this season, which I kind of thought his character was going to be gay. From, from the gay. jump, I actually thought he was he was especially with the frost tipped uh, hairstyle <laughs> and all. I'm like, I eh. mean, we shouldn't. We shouldn't I mean, we're not going to stereotype. Assume, but assume. it was just but something about his personality and with his actions from when it started. When it, see, like, the thing is, when it started, I thought that something was. I thought honestly, in my opinion, that he was bisexual because. That they said he was free spirited, like they literally said that in the show. Yeah. So I was like, okay, but I know that that doesn't just mean well, you're I'm bisexual. I'm not gonna say he's actually gay because he still may be bisexual because he's yeah. been with Jessica. He, yeah. And who who knows what's gonna what could have happened down the line had there be a season five or whatnot. But yeah. as of right now, we do know he did come out the closet to his family, which was a. Surprisingly, I'm surprised his family really took it okay. I'm guessing, given everything that he's been through with the almost killing himself and all that, they had to try to make sure they were accepting on this because had they not, who knows what he would do to himself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then, I want to do a brief little quick side part with his dad. Because his dad plays a major role in this show. Yeah, too. we can definitely do that. But So we just got to film just like two more main characters. Uh... The other main character, literally, we got uh, Penza, Padilla. Oh, Padilla. Yeah, Tony. So Tony, um, he to me was the most likable character throughout the whole, the entire series. I ain't like when them tapes the coming at my door. <laughs> <laughs> but no, to me, like he was the most likable character throughout the entire series. Of course. Um, you know, he had the issues with his family being deported, but he he wanted to do right by his family, which um what did it it made sense as in like he wanted to hold on to that shop for so long because it was his father's and his father you know, was actually come to realize his father was doing the shop to for them. So we like he can like go take them to college and stuff like that, you know, so he can go to college and stuff. So, when he found something that can give him a, like, wasn't it, was it a full ride? Mm-hmm. A full ride a full to ride. a college for, um, boxing. for boxing was amazing. Like, and you would think that his running with the law, he literally actually had a cop that was on his side. Um, yeah. There was a couple things, like like the riot. He The cop got him out of trouble for the riot, whatever the case may be. Got him out of trouble a few times. Um, helped him get the boxing scholarship. Invited the guy, the coach, to come mm -hmm. watch him fight. And he eventually sold the shop and went off to college, which, which, is, which is great. He didn't fully sell it in a way. I mean, he they sold it, but it was to his own boyfriend. And, and he was partners the, with one of the workers, one of the workers was yeah. at the shop. So, it so it's basically in the good hand, in exactly. good hands so that way they keep it going. Exactly. And he'd always be able to be there. And if his family ever was to come back, they'd be able to still be there and have that shop still standing, which was good. Yeah. I, I really, like I said, through the entire series, Tony was one of my, was was not not just one of my, he probably was the, my, my favorite character. Just, I prefer you know, Tony's character over Clay's character. I'll yeah. my reason why. No, 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 not even that. It just makes sense. There, there was moments where Clay got on your nerves. You like, what are Clay, you doing? When didn't Clay like, get on my nerves? I feel like there's times where, like, if me, like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to tell somebody. Like, you know, like, depending on how bad it is or how deep I'm into it, I'm going to tell them, listen, bro, I think I'm having a mental breakdown. Like, why not just tell tell that rather than keeping it all in? Like, when you keep stuff all in like that? It depends on what people have gone through in life because some people... If they've gone through abuse and trauma and stuff like that from people that's supposed to be able to be there for them, they're going to be closed off to them. But I feel like his parents that. did that, though. Clay's parents didn't, but this, well, this what, is I, Clay. This yeah, is Clay. I'm talking about for different so. people. There are different people that make sense. But for him to have the loving parents that he did, we would tell his parents, well, they was a little nosy all the time, but they loved him. They loved him and cared for him no matter what. I think he still was heartbroken and just stuck on Hannah. That's the problem. Oh, no, that, that they, was, they, that they, they, that they brought problem. that to fruition. They definitely yeah, brought that to fruition. That, I think that was his whole problem, why he didn't tell anybody anything because of that. Had yeah. that not have happened, I think he would have been more open to telling people some stuff. So we actually got two more characters. I'm fired. So go ahead and... Uh, so we can get on Ani now. Because Ani, she came into the show kind of late. 
Season, season three. three. Yeah. Actually, no, what's Season three. Just, just season three, yeah. That's what she did. Yeah, that's what just she season three, which is crazy. Because, again, this season was a little shorter, only 10 episodes, which I'm pissed off with Netflix for that one. It's called 13 Reasons Why. I keep it with 13 Reasons. But, yeah, Ani, whew, what a character. Had sex with Bryce. After knowing the thing, the rumors going around with Bryce, which were more so believable than not. Still sleeps with him. I mean, I give her the benefit of the doubt because of living with Bryce and all that. Then be friends, Jessica, which to me kind of felt a little weird. You befriend the person that was raped after you sleep with the rapist. Yeah. Was kind of crazy. And then you are dating Clay, who him and the rapist was going back and forth. I'm going to stop saying the word rapist all the time because we are on a regular YouTube show so but I mean that's the dynamic of the show yeah so Bryce and Ani we're getting that she goes with Clay who's a bombshell waiting to happen basically yeah this now is she wasn't in this season as much of the way that she probably could have been and yeah she wasn't there as much she as she wasn't for, she wasn't her parents yeah, the second season or the third season when she was in it, she was well, definitely prominent. She was she was like the talking point of season three. Yeah. This one she was just because I guess they were introducing her. But yeah, this, this season she was she just was like a, even though I will say this, when it was going on, when they were in the woods, I kind of thought she might have been a part of this going doing some of the stuff that uh. was happening in the woods because <laughs> I'm like she, perfect timing that she goes back to her mom. Yeah, I mean, they even mentioned this. it. Yeah, I know they mentioned it, but I'm like, yeah, that would be something. If we if come to find out something else is going on with Ani and she's doing all this for Bryce. But, I mean, it is what it is. Her character, not too much to go on, in my opinion. Especially not this season, yeah. Because she was away, but her, I'm glad she... And Clay finally came to a mutual agreement of just being friends because neither one of them was ready. I still don't think I like the way that she forced Clay's uh, essay to be submitted. Even secretly. though she changed it? Yeah, even even though she changed it, but secretly submitted an essay. I mean... Bro. Don't that do man, that. That man really thought he wrote <laughs> a how to get away with murder type like joy uh -huh. as his hey. essay. That made things even worse for him for his mental state. Yeah. Had him think that for so long. So, the last character, which I believe redeemed himself the most, was Tyler. Yeah. He, Tyler. he Tyler. went through a lot. A lot, a lot. Especially, like, with the whole being sodomized and the, the, the bathroom season one. That was very. Tyler had very, a lot of problems. That was very hard to watch. It was very hard to watch. So, yeah, so he got sodomized, and then that's when he did the, was about to shoot up school. And ever since then, they took care of him. And they thought this season that he had a, uh, I'm not going to call it a relapse because it uh, wasn't. They thought he betrayed them, yeah, too. Yeah, they thought he betrayed them, and then, like, he was, like, about to buy guns and stuff again. But he was actually, um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, he was an informant. Uh, yeah, informant. There he is. He was an informant to get the guns off the streets and stuff like that for the cops. And he became friends with um, Monty's sister. She was a freshman, if I'm not mistaken, right? Freshman or sophomore. I can't freshman remember. or sophomore, but he became friends with her. And he got accepted to a school of arts or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, his his interview, his college interview. Wow. His college, it was. It was definitely. Which made you think, yo, maybe he really is into it. But then, you know, but he explained himself. I kind of had that in the back of my mind that maybe he's actually helping to get the guns up. Because there ain't no way that all of this, even though the show did a good job of trying to like hide, uh, it, hide it and show, basically sports. shine a light, making and it seem like, yeah, Tyler is back to doing his old tricks and all that. But I was, I still always was thinking that maybe he is actually informing or doing something. Because especially meeting with the gun dealer in one of the episodes, I'm like... Yeah, and then they just happen to say that Gundo is no longer nowhere to be found. I'm like, yeah, he's got to be off the streets at this point. Then, mm. 
So so yeah, he he did like he, his character his character also did a 180 as far as like being the shy guy. I mean he's still shy in his ways, but he's a lot more outgoing than he used to be. Um, and that's because he had friends at the end. Well, yeah. for the most part, he had friends. Yeah, and you know, this is going off to school for 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 art. And even though I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of the show, he was a bit per a big. Curve, and I kind of was not feeling his character for at the beginning of the very beginning of this whole series. Because I mean, he was really a perv, but he had his reasons yeah. of why he was that way. He was too shy, too scared. He was very awkward. Yeah. Very harassed, bullied. Yeah. So we can talk about a few things that uh, that happened during this season. So I want to first talk off about the school sh the school uh, drill, aka the shooting. The dumbest decision I've ever seen anyone make. Granted, this was a show, but I can see somebody still trying to do this in, in, in reality. For a drill to be preparing for active shooter, why would you simulate an actual active shooter situation to traumatize the kids that's already been traumatized with enough death, killings, and all that going on in the school? To I was actually in a simulation shoot. before. Were you? Like now, the simulation we were in, they just literally said, "All right, this is what we're gonna do." They rang the, they, they literally let us know. The teacher let us know. They rang the the, the alarm, right? Mm -hmm. The teacher locked the door, and then we all went back to the in the witch home. And we that was that was it. Well, see, when we were in high school, we didn't have these these amount of school shootings like this happening on a frequent basis. So. Mm -hmm. But I do remember. We that. had stuff where we had intruders might come into the building, or whatever, occasionally. So we do did have practices. Okay, where yeah, you're supposed to lock the doors. Everybody stays away from the windows and the doors. That was it. That was it. Nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else. That's uh, all we did, and that was it. This you got people shooting blanks off throughout the building, knocking on the doors, shaking at the door handles. That is traumatizing. It was. Like why? Why would you ever do that? And that basically took place to his breaking point, where he mm. literally snapped. Granted, they were wrong for the way they handled that situation in itself, but that goes to show the, the nature of how things are in real life, too, with the police brutality. Now, granted, it wasn't a black kid in this particular scene that was attacked by the police. But there was police that, brutality in the scene. Oh, no, really. we're going to get to that. Next. For sure. But that scene was crazy in itself. For one, having them do this kind of drill which is a big no-no. If any schools paying paid attention to the show, please don't try that ever again. Or if you haven't tried it, don't ever try it. Don't think about it. You know that. Do some other things. How about y'all prevent having uh, people from getting guns like that to begin with? Now, the whole metal detector part, they better get used to that. Cause hey, I've gone listen to my high whole school, high school. <laughs> I've had metal yeah. detectors too. I must brand the metal detector set and fully work. Once I wasn't working, so we could sneak stuff in. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, the metal detectors in my school, they weren't great because they had a no cell phone policy in my school, and all you had to do was put your <laughs> cell phone in your boot or your shoe. Yeah, and I mean, then that was everybody. I mean, just, I used to put my cell phone straight through the scanner sometimes in the chip bag. Cause yeah, they would. He had multiple bags of chips. They would think it's the chips going off, so they wasn't searching the bags. But as the years went on, I got I was cool with one of the security guards. I just handed him tossed my phone. He just handed it right back to me. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that. See when 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 they were, and this is funny, and this is probably sad to say because again we're we in Philadelphia, but there's like school metal detectors. I'm mm -hmm. like. I'm like most schools. That's have, normal. <laughs> most urban schools had metal detectors now, because mm -hmm. I, and again that shows racial divide, the difference between these uh, racial divided schools and all, where you have those kind of schools that don't have metal detectors, and then these schools with metal detectors like us. Sure. But um, let's speak on really quickly the um, police brutality, uh, police brutality scene, where Which Justin. One? Okay, we're going, we're going with the, in the race yeah. police brutality scene, the race-driven yeah. scene. Because <laughs> Justin and Diego were having a uh, argument about Jessica. Uh, uh, it was about the they was coming to blows. Yeah, about the whole Bryce thing. It was it was literally about the fight. Yeah. 
and, and they want to know what was going on. Did Justin kill Bryce? Yeah. Or was it Jessica that killed Bryce? What was, what was, what was exactly what was going on? And the cop comes in. This white cop comes in. Because <laughs> we're going to make it known. He was white. Oh, yes, he was. He was. And tells the, it breaks up the fight, but then he throws Diego against the locker. And he literally said some racist, mo- racist stuff in there about him being Mexican and all that. Yeah. Yeah, about him being Mexican and the day it was like, I'm not Mexican or whatever the case may be. Or whatever. But it was very, very racially uh, inclined. Mm-hmm. And Justin tried to, like, stop it. And he that, was, that was one point that I liked. He was like... Justin really tried to yeah. get in there with the cop and defend Diego. Yeah, because he was like, we're not, yo, we're not doing anything. I mean, this is that the third. Like, he was trying to, like, you know... Uh, yeah, put it into this. Put it into the situation, you know, and especially with knowing what... What could possibly happen? He was really mm-hmm. trying to then, uh, de-escalate the situation. And then the cop escalated even further. Yeah, by pushing out his gun. Yeah, pulled out his gun and pushing, like, pushing Justin down, putting the gun at both of them. I'm like, are you kidding me? At, These at, are school students in a school. That's like all he was doing was like, granted, you don't want nobody to fight, but I've never seen. And this is me going to. I went to Simon Grant High School in Philadelphia, known as Phil, North Philadelphia High, and it had some bad reps. But we had security guards and stuff like that in our school. Nonstop. stop but at the end of the day when people were fighting no one pulled out a gun they had guns no one yeah. pulled out a gun on a student because they were fighting oh Ever. i've seen the security guards at my school when i went That's to west bro do <laughs> some stuff yo, yo, but they never up. pulled out any guns granted west philadelphia i had a hot, lot of stuff going on there <laughs> we've seen the security guard body slam a student down granted that student should have probably never been in school at this point because that student was almost 20 years old Almost 20. He slams his face down. I think he hit the chair as well going down. Yeah. Still was cool. Fine though. But I mean, you you fight against multiple school police at the same time. So. That was on him. That, but yeah, that was his I, fault. I've never seen a, a, a security officer at a school break up a fight with like aiming a gun at them. Like yeah. that, that was Even wild. when we had the outside incidents of people bringing a knife, slashing people's faces. Y'all have a dark history. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, we have a long history at West, but it... So, but a lot of that goes into other stuff, but yeah. None of that happened at, when we were in school. Not to that extent, but it goes on in reality right now. That's yeah. what we're fighting now against these racists and unjust cops, which I do agree needs to be defunded and changed up. We need a new change in police. Why are, why are we one of the few countries that have very small training when it comes to one of the most crucial aspects of our communities. Mm-hmm. Cops need to go into training for two more years and need extensive training on how to de escalate, not escalate. And I also and think that what you call should be a part of training too. That's just my opinion. Um, psychological evaluations. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that goes all part of de escalation. Because I feel like when people say, especially in just, just day and age, before we all talk, oh, yeah, I fear for my life. How? He had you're, a bottle of water in his But face. I don't want to hear. If you're an officer that you fear for your life, your job is every day to put your life on the line to protect and serve and defend other people. That is true. There is never a time where you can fear for your life as an officer. If you fear for your life, turn in your badge, your gun, and walk away, get another job somewhere else. You should never fear for your life as an officer. That's your job to protect and serve. All right. So So back on topic (laughs) two. Before we go down the rabbit hole. The rest of this. So that scene led to then the riot at the school. What's all of this from that episode played into a fact of what was going on in reality at this time and still going on with the George Floyd, Breonna Taylor situations that we still don't have all full justice on neither one of those situations. Their dra- justice system is dragging their feet on those. But on the show, we see the cops take that same approach of escalating and escalating and not de-escalating. First day, the man changes in the school. Principal says no in a way. So they said to walk out. And, yep, walked out. What, does do, what do they do? Yeah. Call in for more Wait. riot control police. Before you get further into it, Tyler said my favorite line of the whole season. He was like, what are you doing? I think it's called a walkout, sir. <laughs> they walked out. That was funny. And then they just walked out, which is hilarious. 
Meantime, Zach and Alex is being um, bad kids, per se, destroying the school. Which, actually, to me, it was reminiscent of everything going on now, how they tried to blame everybody for the rioting and looting going on now. But actually, it that turned it out does. that a lot of people were only going in after the fact when there were small few who weren't even technically a part of the protest yeah. that was breaking into buildings and starting the rioting and looting. That is actually a very, very, very fine comparison because... You have a mass amount of people over here protesting, doing the right thing, mm -hmm. and then you got just small people, small amount of people over there that aren't even being paid attention to. Yeah, looting and destroying property, which is that is a very very fine comparison. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get on to the you know speak about the actual riot. Um, Whew, yeah, call them reinforcements. We need more back up here, basically. You Didn't somebody spit on somebody? I, I hate spit. Yeah, that that is disgusting. But they spit at the helmets to the cops. That's what it was. Those was the shields. They spit on the shields. I'm shooting you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, given I'm, the nature of now with the coronavirus no, that we live in, no. it makes it ten times worse. I'm no. saying no. It makes it ten times worse because that literally can You spit not knowing that you had the virus. You spit on somebody else and they get it on them. They can basically, potentially, it can lead to them having the virus. That's I'm, ten times worse. I'm going to remove myself. But I mean, it's bad regardless. Period. As the feedback. But it makes period. it even worse now. Bro, I don't care. And, and with all due respect, I don't want no cops to kill anybody. <laughs> but if I'm a cop and you spit on me. But you're supposed to. But as in force he, of he war, held restraint. Well, no, he didn't. No, they didn't restrain. They got gut punch <laughs> with the baton. She did get gut punch, which was rightly deserved. I'm sorry. Nah, you don't spit because th that's a chop. They, she's playing a child. True, she's playing a child. So here's a question: to Thanks. a grown adult, that one should not have been there to begin with. There was no cause for escalation. So, you walk out. We've played walkouts at school. They've had walkouts at high school. Oh, obviously, but answer this Where you didn't have reinforcements of police coming, showing up with no. riot gear, SWAT police showing up. And that's what they bored. If that was the actual, okay, let's just literally say, okay. If, yeah, if it was, was the actual uh, cop on the street, they would consider it as assault and would have arrested you immediately. Okay. Now, yeah. granted, had her skin color been different, would they have gut punched her? Probably not. If it was me, I don't care if you're black, brown, blue, green, indigo, you spit I'm, on me. I'm, I'm talking about off of the show. Oh, well, off of the show is different, but I'm talking about me in general. You spit on me, you can be rainbow color. I'm going to punch you on the stomach. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, ignore his comments. Let's get back to it. So, they said they're not going back into the building. And then, so, the police's response, you have such and such second to get off the, to premises. Get off the premises and disperse before they take action. And I'm looking... You see the crowd of students that are demanding changes, and your response is get to take force and action yeah. and not to listen. The same thing that's going on now in reality. Again, comparison. We're protesting injustice. Your first response is tear gas and arrest and attack. Not let's talk and listen and see where we can make a peaceful resolution mm -hmm. to changes. Or what had in suit next on the show? They said no, we're not going anywhere. They stood their ground. Now, granted, half the kids started running when it when it hit the fan. Everything started breaking loose. But Clay, but Clay, Clay made the most courageous statement, which I was a little shocked that he found the words to say what he had to say because it looked like for a second he was about to just say, "Yeah, I can't have nothing." Yeah, it did seem like he was about to run off for a second. Man. Uh huh. But got them to come back, and then during the midst of that, he has an episode. Yeah. And blacks out and destroys the points of the car, bombs it. And it doesn't even show you that until like what, the next episode? They show No, they show they show the car blowing it. up, but they don't show you that he like, yeah, was the until person. the next episode that they had it. she had it on video footage. And he still did not remember it while watching it that it was him. Yeah. And you could tell, like when he looked up, he was like, Yo, I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. And Which is crazy because Whew. Like I said, if you start blacking out and not remember stuff, please get yourself some help because you could be going through some problems mentally that you need help with. Proper yeah. medication. They didn't even mention medication for Clay, which I think 
he probably should have been taking some. He was schizophrenic. Yeah, he needed some medication. Yeah. But, yeah, that riot scene was beyond crazy because it got to a point where it did not need to be. The students was fighting literally with the police. Kicking, pushing, and to me, the police had no control over the situation. Nope. They, they lost control, which, granted, would happen anytime, anywhere, because they're citizens outnumber police, regardless, mm -hmm. anywhere. But, yeah. So, other than that, the ending, because we're gonna, we've been running this kind of long now, so we're gonna get to the ending. Graduation and all. I was a little surprised. I expected a little bit more for this to be a final episode. Granted, it was a longer episode than normal, but still, I expected minutes. more from from post graduation to maybe bringing everybody back. They brought a few characters back, but I would have thought they would have tried to bring everybody back. We'd say all right, the final goodbye. They did. The they didn't bring everybody. No, there were some of the students back that graduated the year before. I thought. Yeah, I thought. But see, the thing is, I thought they brought everybody back that was alive. No, that they was didn't. one of the tapes. No, so didn't. who was missing? I uh, what's him called? called the uh, I'm really forgetting his name right now, but the black uh, senior from the year before because you brought back the uh, brought back the one girl and the, the, other a guy. Yeah, the, the yeah. Asian girl, yeah, and the guy, other guy they brought them back, but they didn't bring back. They brought back the, 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 the gay black guy. guy. Yeah, they didn't bring back the black guy that was with what them. black guy? The, was he on the tapes? He, yeah, he, yeah, he was one of the Honor Society students, too. He was on the tapes because he was always in the meetings with Clay and all oh, of them. Oh, I think I remember who you were talking about. I don't remember his name. I can't but remember I do his name either, I believe. right now. But, yeah, they didn't bring him back at all for this. Uh, I know they can't bring back Bryce, Monty, or uh, Hannah. Even though they were literally there in spirit, essentially. Yeah. That whole ghost scene thing. Is that part was kind of a trip, especially when it started happening with Jessica. But I understand it was her psychological mm -hmm. mind warfare that she was having basically in the way. Yo, but I totally forgot about that guy, by the way. That black guy. Really? Totally wow. forgot about him. Eh. But, yeah. I mean, it happened kind of weird, the ending. They buried the tapes after, after it was sent mom back. sends it back to Clay. I don't know why anybody would want them tapes. I don't know why after. she would want them tapes. Well, I know. Well, no, they gave it back, back to her yeah. after the application and all yeah. that was over with evidence and all that was cleared. So the, she gave it to Tony and Clay, which I don't know why I would want that memory. Period. Mm -hmm. Facts. But they all decide together to bury the tapes right outside the city, overlooking the city. And then they went their separate ways. And then Clay and Tony ride off silently together, which kind of was awkward to me. Wasn't he I dropping them off or something? Because he was, they was going they to. They were going to. He, like, I was going to some program or something like that? Clay, Clay was going up there with Tony. It was some type of summer program that they were going to. Or something yeah. Like that. For, so for Clay, Clay's going up. I mean, Tony's going up there for school, though. Yeah. And I think Clay's not going, going, going to school not too far from him or whatever. Anyway. But Clay was actually coming back. He was only going up there to visit with him and then was going back to his school. I mean, mm -hmm. going back home and then before he starts for his school year in the fall. But it kind of was weird just riding off in the silence mm -hmm. in the car, like literally nothing but silence. I'm like, and that was for a good minute or so. Yeah, I'm like, it was a hot minute. It was definitely like, a good minute. Really? I mean, is something else going to happen at the end? They going to get hit by another vehicle or something? I was waiting for, I was something, waiting for something, something to happen. I agree. Like, I wholeheartedly agree with that. What? I thought something was going to happen. Or at least some, some text or something to come up on the screen. And then it just cuts off. And then does their usual at the end. For if you need help, visit 13reasonswhy.com. Clay should, should have visit 13 reasons why. Yeah. All the mental stuff he was going through. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, let's get a better part to going on. But, but all in all, great series. I loved it. I think it really forces people to really address and talk about certain issues stuff, that yeah. go, that's going on socially in the world. And as always, it's spot on with everything happening. But again, guys, if you like the show or not, talk to us about it. Drop some 
information in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought. And then as always, like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching us. Till next time.